Hi, this is Jordan with HM Ranch Lands. I'm here on a really wonderful 10 acre parcel here on Terlingua Ranch. This 10 acre spot is really unique because it has power poles on site already. There's not a drop, but it's ready to have one put in wherever you need one. It's extremely conveniently located. It's right off Highway 118 and American Legion Road. So if you're coming from Alpine driving south, you'll turn left at the Little Borough Country Store and in less than a mile, you're right there. There's fantastic views of all the arroyos, of course, Nine Point Mesa and Red Bluff. Uh, this is gonna be a really great spot for somebody who wants good views all around. From here, <clears throat> you could easily get right on the highway, drive about 25 minutes and you'd get a, to Big Bend National Park entrance to the Terlingua Ghost Town and Study Buttes. There's plenty of spots with vegetation, but there's also lots of spots that are already cleared out. If you wanted to put up a, a structure or something, there wouldn't be a lot of work on the front end um, to clear out the land. There's definitely wildlife on here. I've seen quail tracks. I saw some javelina tracks uh, while walking the property. We do not currently have a survey, but I did notice at least one, two, three survey pins. I need to go check and see if there's a fourth from uh, the neighbors surveying their properties. There is a neighbor on either end, left and right, who have been living here at least part time and uh, spoke with one of them, seemed very friendly. Really nice people all over the ranch, so that didn't surprise me at all. This area of the ranch is a little bit more populated and still very sparsely populated, but this is one of the main ranch roads, hence the power poles. So if you were trying to find a place where you wouldn't see another human soul for a week, this probably isn't gonna be it, but with 10 acres and the neighbors having 10 or 20 acres themselves, there's obviously more than enough room for everybody. Uh, from this location, it's only about five miles south to get to the main Terlingua Ranch Road. Head down there about 15 miles and it's the ranch headquarters with, uh, they have a cafe and grill, they have a swimming pool, they have a little minute, yeah, nine hole disc golf course. Um, they have bathrooms and showers, which I took advantage of yesterday, which the showers are currently free for property uh, owners and $2 for guests, but you know, it always helps to chip in a couple bucks, even if you are a property owner, to make sure that they can keep continuing to provide that service if you didn't want to have uh, water yourself. I believe you get 25 gallons of water a week from the ranch, as well as being a, a member of the Property Owners Association in good standing. You know, lots of people out here like to have fun with their ATVs. I haven't really seen anybody with a dirt bike, but uh, lots of different homesteads, lots of really unique creative builds. And so if you were wanting to build something a little bit different and didn't want to worry about a bunch of restrictions, uh, but still needed access to reliable power, this would be a really great spot. Something else that this spot would be really perfect for is if you were trying to make a place, maybe have your own cabin, but then set up some campsites for uh, guests or glamping sites or set up some unique structures to rent out. This would be an extremely easy place for your guests to get to. No one's gonna be calling or trying to call you, trying to get directions. It's as simple as turn left at the Little Borough Country Store. So ease of access is super, you know, 10 out of 10. Um, it's 10 acres, so there's plenty of space to set up a few sites. You, uh, you already have the pins sitting in the ground, so you'll know to stay, you know, well within the bounds of your property. And there's a power pole on site. So it's kind of a dream location for somebody who wants to set up a RV hookup site, Airbnb, glamping sites. This, to be honest, is the best spot for that we've ever found. So. If you want seclusion, target shooting, things like that, this is not the best place. If you want to set up a site and have it easy for people to get to, this is number one. 360 views, easy to get to, literally walking distance to a convenience store for beer, ice, snacks, um, Wi-Fi if you need to make a call and you don't have um, service here. Ease of access to get on the highway to get to the national park. I mean, it, I really can't think of anything that would make this better um, for an Airbnb uh, visitor's site for you to set up. There are actually a couple pull-ins already leveled out and I was surprised to see that. You can see my vehicle is parked in one, so it's nice to be able to get uh, off the ranch road and get onto the property. All around, this is just one of the best 10 acres I think you can find if you're trying to set up something that requires power like a um, permanent residence or a rentable site. This is 
really, really fantastic spot. So if you're interested, feel free to reach out at hmranchlands.com or you can send me a message at hello at hmranchlands.com or just leave a comment below. Thanks.